What's up, y'all? So I'm back again to talk. I want to talk again. You know, the last video, um, you know, it was about half and half about, you know, as far as, you know, agree to disagree or agreed or disagree. You know what I'm saying? Um, which is perfectly fine. I always, I always am down for a great conversation. You know, whether we agree or whether we disagree, just as long as we're respecting each other, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm always down for because there's no there's no way that everybody in life can automatically think the same. That's for one. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to talk about the facts versus the fiction. You know, what's facts and what's fiction? You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to this Jasmine case, um, what's a fact? Um, a fact is she went on live. This happened on live. That's a fact. Um, you know... Per the report that came out, per her lawyer and everything, what has been said, which I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put that inside of this video, which you have to watch the whole video or, you know what I'm saying, or you don't have to watch the whole video, you can just go to the part where it's at. But I'm going to place it in the video, per the actual, you know, just like the whole entire um, case altogether, the lawyer has came out and said, you know, what it is, what it isn't, right? So, he perfectly states that, um... Eight minutes into a live video is where they believe that she was drugged and assaulted and things of the sort, um, you know, which is eight minutes in, you know, per the video. This is what the, you know, this is what is stating on the actual document per her lawyer that has came out, which is fact, right? Because at this point, this is documented. This is what her lawyer said, so we can agree that this is going to be fact, right? So, you know, he's saying like, yeah, you know, per the live video, whatever. She was embarrassed, she was drugged, and whatever, eight minutes in, she believes that um, she was drugged. She's, it states that Jasmine um, stated that she had two drinks in, and after two drinks, you know, she began to feel like she was, you know, basically drugged at that point. Okay, cool. So, it goes on to, you know, just states, you know, um, about a twerk. He begins to talk about the twerk contest and was saying that, you know, he's seen a lot of different cases where people were drugged. And, you know, whether they're unconscious, whether their memory goes or whether they come back up all of a sudden and, you know, have can be hyper or whatever and all this other stuff. Um, but it has something to do with the drugs. Okay, cool. So, he also states that um, somebody from actually viewing the live is the only reason why this actually, you know, came out there in the open and there's a case, you know, today. Um, it wasn't even per Jasmine letting the police know. It was actually a Facebook user who was using, um, well, who was tuned into the live, um, stated that they called the cops or called 911 and say, hey, you know, I just seen a live video where a man is groping somebody and it looks like it could be rape. So like, okay, whatever. Cool. At this time, still no police report. Nobody has, on, on, from Jasmine, nobody, Jasmine hasn't called the authorities. This is just solely based off of the Facebook user whose name they have not placed as far as in that actual report. So they're like, the Facebook user is the one that called, whatever, whatever. A lot of people, including J-Bug, said, hey, we canceled our Uber and we got in the car with Jasmine. But per this report, it states that Jasmine didn't leave the club. It states that she literally was asleep there or, you know, woke up and was still at the club or outside of the club. And one of the workers offered her some drink. You know what I'm saying? So that, again, this is this is fact based off of what is in the report. You know what I'm saying? Solely facts. So, you know, which, you know, that's a whole different situation. So um, another another source came out and was like, you know, there isn't, there is a, you know, there's a case, there's a police report open and an investigation open and Jasmine can't take down her videos and all this other stuff because it's an active investigation, which, you know, that part, I, I don't know. That part, we're going to leave it in the middle. I can't say it's fact or fiction. I believe the fact part is there's an open investigation, but when it becomes non-fact is that her page, you know, has to stay up when it's, it's obviously not up right now. You can go check that. No lies. That's fact. Her real page, Jasmine's real page, is not active currently, nor is Cornell's page active currently for an active investigation. So, that's just fact. Again, go to Facebook for that. So, um, so they was just saying that, you know, basically, as far as, you know, with that um, investigation or whatever, that there are no charges that have been put towards a Dominique Williams, which means, right, because we all are in America. We all know what times we are in, and we all know that America would love a case like this one and would love the opportunity to arrest an African-American man. 
That's just fact. Okay? So, when I say, when I say my opinion, when I say, hey, you know, it's a lot of stuff that just does not make sense about this case. A lot of things don't make sense to me. One in particular being, okay, we've all, all and a million one of us, we viewed this live video, right? We all can see, you know, from whether she was cool to whether, you know, it starts spiraling out of control and it goes downhill and all this other stuff. We all seen that, right? What I don't understand is even with seeing that, with seeing that, right? There's no arrest made, okay? There's no arrest made, okay? Nor are they going after Dominique. They, they brought him in for questioning, but they have not gone after him, right? She's going after the club. That's fact. That's fact, okay? I've looked everywhere. I've looked everywhere online. I don't show no hospital report. I don't show anything as far as with the rape kit, right? As a woman, you know when your body, you know what I'm saying? You know when you, something don't feel right with your body. Or maybe she's seen the own lives and she's like, hold on now. I remember this man, but you like, I didn't give him permission to do none of this stuff, right? So it's like, this is the only problem that I have with everything altogether. It's like the whole world, literally. The whole world has crucified one person in regards to what's going on because of what we all seen on a live video, right? Which means when you crucify something or someone and you put something as strong as rape against their name, right? We've all seen this video. You can't remove the video. Even, even removing the page does not remove the video because it's still floating, right? So even with all of this evidence, right? Just think about it. Just think about it. Even with all of this evidence where you don't... At this point, there's a case, right? Because we've everybody has stated that this is a rape. There's a case, right? But there is no arrest. And you're not going after Dominique? You're going after the club? It gets a little... Confusing. Even with her friend. I just sat here and watched her friend's video um, who stated that her name is, I'm going to drop a screenshot because she stated, don't share the video. So I'm going to drop a screenshot in this video. Her name is Amora Anastasia or something like that. She states that, hey, like I'm Jasmine's real friend. I'm Jasmine's real friend. Her brother, she, that's not really her brother who she was raised with. And the sister that's coming out, that's not really her sister either that she was raised with. Yeah, they're blood, but they're, she's from a foster home. She wasn't raised with these people. Like, they're lying on her. Okay, cool. I get it. She was in a foster home. She wasn't raised by them. So she's like, yeah, it's an active investigation going on. Jasmine's page is still up. Like, she literally can't take the page down. And this video just got posted today, right? But the, her page is gone. So it's an active investigation and the page is not supposed to be taken down, but the page is taken down. That's one. Um, another thing is like, okay, Jasmine, this isn't her husband. She's divorced him, or this is what her friend says. She's divorced him, or they're working it out or going through it, but it has not been confirmed, which means if you're married without no confirmation, means you're still married. Okay. That's for one. I didn't make the rules of marriage. I ain't do it. You know what I'm saying? Take that up with a person who has the rules to marriage. But if it's not confirmed, it means you're still married, right? So she's like, yeah, I don't know if he's doing it for clout for his, his rap thing. Maybe he is. You know what I'm saying? This is your good friend. You said this was your good friend. You know, you know that she was already, per your video, you stated that she was already dealing with some stuff with Cornell. That has something to do with why they even got into it. About some cheating and about some messages from girls. Which Cornell came out and said, yeah, I was doing some things I wasn't supposed to be doing. And that's how it happened. You know what I'm saying? They got into it, whatever, whatever. But this is your friend. You're speaking up on your friend's husband and your friend's marriage. And stating, yeah, I don't know about the rap thing. If he is trying to get clout. You know, being a friend of somebody who, you know what I'm saying, is in this type of situation. I don't really think that. You know, I would speak on their husband. You know, I don't know. I'm not the brightest. I don't I don't know. Maybe that's what type of friendship they got. But I'm just saying that at a time like this, I kind of probably wouldn't say, yeah, he might be doing this, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Especially in a situation where it looks bad. All of it looks bad, you know? 
And so that's another thing. And then she's like, then she goes on to say and just, you know, basically about the rape kit and about, you know, that Cornell was at the hospital and has her phone and just a lot of different things or whatever. Cool. You know, we're glad to hear that she's doing good. She's in good spirits, you know. Nobody wants this to happen to anybody, whether it's rape or whether it's suicide. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody wants this to happen for anyone. Nor does anyone want to disregard the fact that, hey, what we've seen on live was some crazy shit. Can we all admit that? It was some crazy shit. Crazy. Like, we're seeing this on live take place. Now, I know that a lot of things take place on live. Whether somebody getting shot in the head. Like, we know this happens on Facebook Live. But a rape, you know, that's something new that none of us have seen. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I want to just talk about the fact towards the, you know, the fact and the fiction. It's like, okay, eight minutes in is when she felt, you know, started feeling like she was drunk or drugged. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, I can get that. You know, per the live, she was drinking, whatever, whatever. What I, you know, what I don't want to put out there because we don't have the fact. I know a lot of people is like, yeah, we seen the pill in there, but we didn't see nobody put the pill in there. And we can't say, because it's not fact again, we can't say like, oh yeah, he was feeding her in dosage. If we didn't see that, we can only go by what we actually seen. We didn't see nobody throwing nothing in their cup. We don't know nothing at this point besides what it is that we seen, right? We seen her go from one way to another way and just looking as if like, She's basically looked like she was dead, passed out at this point, right? And we've seen the groping. and we've seen a lot of different stuff. Now, mind y'all, Dominique's behavior in the video, definitely questionable. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody's ever disregarded that, right? Not over here anyways. I've never disregarded that. His behavior is skeptical. And for that, he should be questioned, locked up, or whatnot. But... What I was saying, or what I was trying to say, but for some reason, y'all take it the wrong way. Well, some of y'all, not all of y'all. Some of y'all take it the wrong way as saying that, oh, you're actually trying to blame the victim and put this on like, this didn't happen. No, I'm not saying that. I'm a factual person. I don't want to put nobody's life on the line, nobody's freedom on the line, and I don't wish nothing bad on anyone, but I do like to base it off of fact, not just base it off of, oh, I seen that, and that's what it is, because we all know you can see something and totally, it means something totally different. We know that. People with common sense do, but it's just like, there's a lot of things that does not make sense to me. It doesn't add up, you know? Um, it doesn't. It doesn't. It just doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. I, I don't know why Dominique is not going, um, why he's not being, you know, salt to all, um, salt after, um, but the club is, you know, I don't, I don't get that part. Maybe, you know, maybe somebody can explain that part to me, but I don't get that part. There's then there's uh, other people that are, um, allegedly coming out and like, Hey, you know, Dominique did this to me too, you know? And it's a lot of different things where, you know, it looks bad for Dominique. It does, truthfully speaking, especially if all these situations are factual. You feel what I'm saying? If all of them are factual. It's a lot of stuff that I just don't know. And I can't, maybe I don't know because I haven't been in the, these ladies' shoes. And it's like, okay, you know, like what happened to, you know, when you don't feel right, you, first off, you report it to the authorities, not Facebook. That's for one. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff I didn't understand. Like even with Miss Jasmine, I didn't understand her addressing you know, on Facebook, being quick to address a Facebook or social media, and then you have family members that are reaching out to you, but you're not willing to reach out to them. You know what I'm saying? It's like this life is so weird to me. Everybody or everyone feels the need and the pressure to address social media first as opposed to addressing ourselves in private or talking to people that actually love us instead of complete strangers who don't care about us, right? So... I just really didn't understand a lot, you know, and maybe it has something to do with the trauma after. I don't know because I just don't know, but I can go based off of facts and based off of the facts, a lot of stuff just doesn't make sense. And when stuff doesn't make sense for me, I'm not one to just be like, oh, let's go on the bandwagon. And let's follow the masses. I want to question like, why is that going on? Well, why is that happening? Like, you know. That's just me. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? And if that is a problem, then it's a problem. But what I don't understand is when as adults, we can all agree to disagree, right? A lot of you all might not have agreed or understood what I was I was even saying in my last video. You know, I'm a I'm an adult, you know, I can get that. Let's disagree, but let's at the same time be respectful. A lot of y'all felt the need to, oh well, let's come after how Meek looks and Meek's hair. But guess what, y'all? This same pink hair girl 
that y'all are trying to disrespect for just voicing my opinion and just saying, hey, let's look at things like this. Like, let's do a fresh slate and really use our heads and you know start questioning things that just really don't make sense when it's like that it's like oh my god you're supporting a rape it's like how could you like what up <laughs> you know and y'all y'all feel like i don't know maybe it makes y'all good and feel great and feel relieved to you know bash me which i'm cool with i don't care about y'all bashing me i just want y'all to know that those comments you know they don't really get to me because at the end of the day it's like i know who i am right and i know what it is what i was saying right and it's like you know y'all can come on my page y'all won't even get blocked y'all can come on my page and say you know what you pink hair girl blah 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 guess what if you don't agree with my opinion just don't don't comment or just don't put in the comments why you disagree but let's do it respectfully you feel what i'm saying you'll still be welcomed here you'll still be able to tune into these videos at the end of the day this pink hair girl i'm not slow by a long shot so at the end of the day this pink hair girl is still the same pink hair girl that if i was in that club there's a lot of different steps that just not would have happened just realistically speaking but we don't like to have those conversations because we like to t we like to tell our women and cheer on bullshit we like to tell our women when they you know doing all type of crazy stuff, oh girl that's fine you look blah 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 but we don't like to break it down to people when it's not okay for a lot of stuff that we got going on sorry whoever doesn't like it just doesn't like it let's agree to disagree but at the end of the day there's a lot of things about this case does it they doesn't make sense you feel what i'm saying it just doesn't make sense okay i get it you're like but she was drugged how can she help herself how can she hold a cell phone for so long how can you hold a cell phone and y'all are y'all are really trying i work for a cell phone company by the way y'all are really saying that because she had her pop socket on that is why she was able to not drop her phone this girl was drugged we seen that she looked like she was dead or passed out right so even with a pop socket you lost all consciousness on with your muscles like this from going like this should be like that by now you lost all consciousness you can't do anything else we've seen that we've seen that we've seen that right you can't do anything else but for some reason the phone stayed there i don't know maybe maybe it was god maybe it was god maybe it was but i'm just saying the whole the phone was the whole time the phone never dropped that's fact we got to see this the world got to see this that the phone never dropped which that, that part to me i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know you know what i'm saying make it make sense make it make sense and it's just like there's so much stuff that just doesn't make sense about it it just doesn't make sense you know do you know do i think that she was assaulted sexually yeah I think she was touched inappropriately. I definitely do. I don't know what she drugged. I didn't see nobody drugging. I'm going based off what I've seen. i seen the screenshots where it's like, oh, okay, there's a pill in her drink. That's, that's screenshots. Anybody can... I didn't see that. I didn't see no nothing, right? I don't know. Maybe he did it when he was at the bar. I can't say that. I can't put that on it. I can't put that on nobody because I didn't see that. I can only base it off of the facts of what I've seen, right? i seen somebody conversating and trusting a stranger too quickly we're all too quickly to trust people that we don't know. I don't care where you're from. I don't care if this is your first day in a new city. We know in 2019, because definitely 2019, because we knew in 2018 and before that, that the world had gone to shits, right? So that, with that being said, there's a lot of stuff going on in America that nobody can say, well, I didn't know this was going on. You yourself would be lying to yourself. In 2019, if you're like, I can't believe this is going on. I didn't know this was going on. I didn't know what's going on. You cannot trust everybody you come in contact with. A smile today could be your killer tomorrow. And that's just being perfectly honest. Perfectly honest. I don't know where you all are located, but I know where I'm located. I don't care if we was friends for 20,000 years. You still, you got to watch who you trust. Because people change and people's versions of being real and looking out for you is totally different than what you might have in mind for yourself you know what i'm saying you can't take drinks from men you just can't unless you're going to the bar with them oh you want to buy me a drink let's go to the bar together 
Who is giving people that much trust in America? In life, period. People is changing all the time. Like, you can't trust everybody that's a smiling face. You cannot do that because a good conversation or they gave you some compliments, made you feel good, or got you a free drink. Come on now. Like, you, I don't care where you're at. You cannot say, I did not know that this stuff was going on. If you did, you have to be Patrick and, and Squidward and Spongebob and them because you're at the bottom of the sea, you know. And none of us are at the bottom of the sea because we're humans. We can't even survive. We can't even survive at the bottom of the sea. So it's a lot of stuff that just doesn't make sense, which is why I wanted to have a conversation to put the fact versus the fiction. You feel what I'm saying? The fact versus the fiction. That's all. That's all. Have an open dialogue and really talking about it because a lot of people... They want to have the conversation, but they don't want to talk about the real stuff. And it's like, okay, we get it. She was raped. She was raped. I can't even say rape. She was, she was allegedly drugged and assaulted. That is what her lawyer is saying. They're not even putting out there that she was raped. Facebook went ahead and gave the verdict of, oh, she was raped. Right? So we can't eat, we don't even know. We don't even know. We're just putting people under the rock and in jail and whatever, whatever. But you don't know people's lifestyle. You don't know. But I know in Chattanooga, like like I always tell y'all, there's people that do all type of stuff. I know more and more people is more prone to popping pills and snorting all type of stuff that it makes no sense to me. But that doesn't mean that it's not going on. A lot of females, lots of females are doing more than just smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? They popping pills, snorting or whatever. Who's to say? That that wasn't that type of party. You feel who's to say? Who's to say that? People are like, okay, who go to the club by themselves and just be wanting to get drunk and drug? Okay, who go to the people go to the club all the time with themselves on different types of drugs all the time. So who's to say that that's not to say? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, again, I know this should not happen to this young lady. Whether she was making all the right choices or with whether or whether she was not making all the right choices and just so happened to get involved with this situation. At the end of the day, it was not okay. But at the same time, we can't put we can't put fiction and on top of fact and be like, okay, well that's fact when it's not. You know, per the police reports, or not even per the police reports, per per her lawyer and per those friends that are by her, even the friend that came out today. Where's her Facebook page? It has to be open for an open investigation because it's an active investigation that just took place. Where is her Facebook page? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just basing it off facts. I'm just basing it off facts. Facts to fiction. You know? Tell me. Down below in the comments. What's the facts? The facts. Then tell me what's fiction. What is? What have we, on the last few days, what have we all put on top of the situation, making it worse instead of making it better because now probably the officers and everybody else involved can't determine fact towards fiction. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so much stuff out of there. You feel what I'm saying? So again, this is not to bash Jasmine. It's to say as a whole, we all got to do better. Period. Period. He needs to be locked up. If they find, and they can find in that video where he definitely drugged her, he should be locked up. He should be locked up. Everything else, she said no. We all heard it. I get that. At that point, that's considered rape. But per her lawyer, per Jasmine, right now, it's just a case with the club where they want to get justice in regards to why, did, why was this able to happen in the club. Per even Jasmine, it's not even about what happened in the party. What, matter of fact, it's not even about what happened inside of the party. She's not even, she's not even going to bat with what happened in the party. It's from that one video of why, and now it makes sense. So why my channel got the strike and the video was taken down because the one video I did share was when they got, when they, he took her out the party. That's the video that they're investigating. Why did the club allow two adults to leave this, leave this room or leave the club and go into some other spot? That's what the investigation is about. Not about the rape inside of the club. Nothing. And then everybody is like, okay, well, the drug, it was because she was drugged. It was because she was drugged. Well, tell me the name of the drug. Tell me the facts of where you got that in the police report and in the doc's report where it says that she was drugged with this. Before we go 
to start saying, oh yeah, well with this drug, it has different side effects. How do y'all know what the drug is? Is it out there? Because I've searched. I can't find a drug name. I've searched. Y'all have no idea how long I've searched just to try to find a drug name of what it is Miss Jasmine was given. Because everybody got all the side effects and oh, it does this, it makes you do this. Because when everybody's like, okay, well, how would she go from passed out on one extreme to going on stage and you you enter, not only did you enter a twerk contest, but you won the first one and got into a second one and you stayed to see August. I don't know what type of drug it is. So I want to know what type of drug it is, okay? Because I don't know about no drug where you feel passed out and dead and then you wake up like just a few moments later. Just a few moments later. Just a few moments later. And get on stage and all this other stuff. And, you know, I can get memory loss and all that other stuff. But I just want to know the name of the drug that everybody's prescribed prescribed her with that the doctor has not even prescribed her with. I want to know what's the name of the drug. I want to know where's the fact. If y'all can tell me that, I'm going to make a different video. I have a different feel about it. Show me the facts and let's talk about it. But other than that, we got to base it off what, what it's based off of, which is facts. What's in the report? What's in the live videos? I'm basing off what I've seen. In live videos, I've seen two people interacting with each other, having a conversation. Not one time did, did either party say, you know what, I need to leave, or I got a, I got a spouse, or I, you know what, it's my birthday, I'm about to go walk around the club, I'm about to go whatever, whatever, some more. Like, I didn't see none of that. But what I've seen is what I've seen. I've seen two people having a conversation. I've seen that everything was on the up and up. Something happened. Something happened. I don't know what the drinks kicked in or the drugs kicked in. Something definitely happened. And it went downhill. You know, and the no and help me and what everybody else seen. The groping and everything else. I seen that. That's what I seen. But now we need to know why is not why is Dominique not being salt after? Why is it only just the club? Where's the rape kit? Where's this medicine? What was in her system? What did they find? Where are you all getting this information at? You know? Because everybody's saying a drug and oh, this drug caused you to do... Where, where did y'all get that at? Put in the comments. I would love to know. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. That's all. Let's agree to disagree. Let's be adults though. Y'all won't get blocked, but let's agree to disagree.